Hello, this is Sausage Fingers and welcome to Star Citizen. Right, bit different this video. What I'm going to do is kind of, what can you do in Star Citizen right now? And I don't mean to spend a million pound on real spaceships and I don't mean gameplay with 50 people. I mean, you've just bought a starter package. What can you do right now by yourself, NPC wise, without engaging with other players and all that thing? What's the layman's game? Let's do that. So the first time you log in, you'll have different systems here. So you can kind of spawn wherever you want. I'm gonna spawn in Olisar because if you're, yeah, let's call this day one gameplay. You're starting from day one. Yeah, let's get going. So, this is where it begins. No matter where you start, you will wake up in your fart sack. Yes, whether it be in Port Olisar or on a different planet or in micro, wherever you are. Let's have a little look at the map right off the bat. So, we're Port Olisar, which is in Crusader. And inside Crusader, you've got all the different planets and moons. You've got the comma rays and all that malarkey. You've got Hurst and Delamar. Well, you can see it there. It's on the map, isn't it? Yes. Hmm. So, I'm going to go to my, my contracts manager. Let's see what missions we've got. Right, hang on. No, let's go out of this, right? We're going to go in it. Look, let's start from the beginning, right? I've got 49,220 UEC. I've got quite a bit of monies, but we're going to put that figure up on the right and start it at zero. Yeah, because... Unless you've used someone's um, referral code, which I'll slap up in the top right as well, you can use that. You can get 5,000 in-game currency if you want, or if you've got a friend who plays Star Citizen, use theirs instead. Yeah. So, we'll stand here, look at this geezer, and we're going to have a look at the contracts manager. Now, these are our missions. We've got general missions. We've got all sorts. But chances are we're going to be in a starter ship, probably an Aurora or a Mustang, something like that. Something you get with a game package, not that you've bought separately. You've got your general missions, you've got personal missions. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a general delivery mission. As you can see, the money's little, 1,190. I'm going to accept that. And now that is tracked up there, you'll see where my mission is. These are very local as well, it's very, very quick money. So, the reason we want this quick money is because with my balance at zero, there is limited stuff I can do for the time being. Now, we're going to kind of set future-proof ourselves. If we go into Guaranteed Defence, as you can see, at Port Olisar, you can buy it. There are different things in different shops on different planets in different stations. Now, this is what we're after. We are after... The rucksack core, that's 3,095, so we're going to have to do three little delivery missions. That's your backpack that enables you to then go collecting and personal mining. We've got to buy a utility tool once we've got the finances as well, and that will set us up in a completely different style of gameplay, as well as ship deliveries and all that. Right. Yes, I've got loads of ships, but you will probably start with one of these, or a Mustang. So I'm going to retrieve this little bad boy. Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. Now, it don't matter if your ship's got cargo space or not. We can literally pick a box up and chuck it on the back of our ship. And I will show you. Where are we going? Where are we going here? So we've got our pickup point on the map. We are going to quantum to the point of the pickup to do the things and the stuff. I'm going to let this run in real time because then you can see how long it takes to get to these places.
London Drive is now off. And we have arrived. While I remember as well, I have taken this mission. Now, if you have got a mate, he don't even need a ship. You can literally go on your mission, um, accepted. Now, I can share that with a mate. When I press share, it will come up with whoever you're friends with, and you can actually share the total outcome. He don't even have to come with you. You can share that 1,190 UEC with however many people you are playing this mission with. I said I weren't going to go into the multiplayer side of things, but it kind of gives you a grasp of how friendly the game is now as such. because obviously you have to pay for fuel fuel and ammunition out of your in-game credits so you want to keep your overheads low at the beginning and obviously it's great fun and great practice Now this has got a small amount of cargo space this ship but it's 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 not worth it you're to do cargo cargo runs trading you have to spend money to make money i.e you have to buy the cargo first put it on your ship and then successfully sell it at another location so that is a bit big fry for us at the moment this way this costs you nothing if you get killed you lose nothing You've got, you've got zero expenditure apart from fuel. We're literally, I don't know, like an Amazon delivery driver. We'll start small, work our way up. Louis. Hello, dude. There we go, pick up point, yes. Grab our box of goodies. Now, it don't matter if we get killed. We ain't losing nothing. We spent zero monies. None of the monies. Yes. Let me out. Go. We're back on our little boat. Okay, now we can go place and we'll plop that there. You, you can do multiple runs at the same time, but I would suggest doing one at a time initially. Yeah, you know. You know, get a feel for things, you know. Fan selected. Take off complete. And the gear raised. If I think this year is, we're actually going back to Port Wallace for this one.
Well, we'll go forward a little bit. There we go. We're home. Uh, we'll be coming back out in a minute, so I'm going to leave her running. Complete. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. Thanks a lot. Let's pick up our little box of goodies. Here we go. And we'll just drop this off. This one? Yeah, this one. There we go. Now that will sort this little life out. And then up the top middle of the screen, you'll see how much we get paid. Obviously, if you're sharing this mission with a friend, you'll split the, the, the overall reward. Contract complete. Hmm. Yay, awarded 1,190 of the UEC. Now, I would do that a further two times before I go and buy my bag. Obviously, that gameplay is endless. Delivery missions, you could just be a delivery pilot if you wanted to. As you can see... You've got a few delivery missions there, and the more you do, the more you will get. You will just never run out. It's as simple as that. Um, but we're going to try something else. I am going to say I've done three of them missions. I've got enough to buy myself a little school bag. So, I've bought my school bag, and I have equipped my school bag. No, I haven't. Let's equip my school Go, Bosch. There. I am I am fifty percent complete towards my on my way towards mining. But what I'm gonna do now is I need a utility tool. I need an actual mining tool. Now I could actually have a look through my missions. Uh where am I gonna go? I'm gonna go to Levski, I think, because I know for a fact they sell the tool. Yeah, I would get probably, I'd do delivery missions till you're up to about five grand, and then you know you're safe. With five grand, you could even go out and buy yourself some Gucci weapons as well. You could literally live here if you wanted to. There are clothes shops. You could deck yourself out. Just doing those delivery missions. Get yourself some nice civvies and stuff like that. I'm not going to go over this much because it's been in the game for ages. You could even upgrade your ship components if you want now. You can go into Dumper's Depot. So, I don't know. If you wanted Quantum to be a bit faster, you could buy a new Quantum Drive. You could buy a better cooling system. To give you the idea of the prices, there we go. It, it is expensive to deck your ship out. But, I mean, that 1,000 UEC mission to took us 10 minutes so there there is a heap ton of gameplay in this game now we've done one delivery mission and we've got hun literally hundreds of missions to do now Obviously, all the time we're here, we're in monitored space as well. So, yeah, we can get blown up by other players, but they are going to get a criminal record for doing so. And I will emphasise, I cannot emphasise enough, if your ship gets blown up, you do not have to pay to get another one at this time in, ga in game. Eventually you will need insurance, but at the moment it costs you nothing. You will not lose your ship forever. We're going to Delamar. That's Yela. Uh, we'll do it on our map, it's easier. Delamar, set route. There we go. Where are you? Here it is. Now this is a bit of a trick, this one. 
Also, while we're travelling, I'll show you a couple of things that are already in game for free. Say, for instance, if you've got a webcam, we will go to options. This should be turned off by default. And I am going to turn on the FOIP. Head tracking enabled, yes. So, gone are the days when you need track IR and VR and all that. There we go. Now, just using my webcam, that is literally tracking my face with my webcam. I can happily look around my cab. Also, FOIP, when I'm talking, and I don't know if I can do it here. I don't know if you'll be able to see. No, because I'm wearing my helmet. But my lips will be moving, when I blink, my eyes blink, all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to go into the aesthetics of Star Citizen because, I mean, as you can see, it's a beautiful game anyway. The whole experience is, is amazing. You've got, um, obviously you've got text chat, you've got a whole chat window. So if you want to, you can have local voice chat, global chat, all of that malarkey. There's your contacts, your, your friends in game, so you can chat away to them if you want. Hang on a cotton picking minute, what's happening here? Oh, I thought I was getting interdicted then. So, while that's quantuming, be aware you can get interdicted in space as well during quantum. You could go and have a little rest on your bed. Multiplayer, again, if you've got a player without a ship, he can just come and sit on your ship. He can come and lay down in that bed. He can stand and look over your shoulder while you're flying. You're in a starter ship until you get something that's multi-crew. Yeah, your, your mate just simply cuts about doing things, chilling out, put kettle on, you know. Probably notice up the top, you can actually interact with other players. You get stuck in space without a ship, your ship gets blown up or whatever. You can actually send out a beacon offering a reward to pick you up. You can ask for combat assistance, deliveries, stuff like that. And again, Now, if you're not up for the mission side of things, you could spend an eon just exploring this game. An absolute eon. It is just, quite frankly, a beautiful game. You can, you could walk around the whole planet if you so desired. There's a full day and night system on each different planet or moon. There's different gravity systems on each one. Some you need air, some you need dough. From a multiplayer perspective, this game is limitless. There are also first person combat missions as well. Yeah. This this is just the, your first day of Star Citizen. Where are we going? We're going to customs. If you head up to the lobby, you can head outside and explore the planet. A bit later on, when you have got a ground vehicle, you can go up there, spawn your ground vehicles, and have a drive about, you know, go go and see some sights, visit the neighbours. It's a ship retrieval console. So, right, yeah. Your ship's been blown up, you've respawned here, you go in here, and your Aurora would be down here. You would you would press claim, it would say, are you sure you want to claim your ship? It's free. You'd say yes. It will then give you an offer to expedite your ship. Now, say if the say if you have to wait five minutes to call your ship, to claim your ship, if you expedite it, all that's doing is knocking some time off. You're paying for an early release of your ship. I mean, this place is beautiful. Look at it. Dirty Levski. It's great. You go shopping over there, but we're going to head down to the... Uh, do we need the market? Yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. 
we're going the grand bar. Yeah. I think you can get this utility uh, utility to other places, but uh, hey, I like Dirty Levski. Uh, it's not up there. That's the pub up there. I think a bit later on, once you've done a few missions, other missions open up and you'll have to meet people in pubs and stuff. There is a mission chain. You need dodgy mercenaries and stuff like that. Oh, we're going to conscientious objects. Get out of the way, Nicky. I think that's where we're going anyway. Well, if you go down there, they're all different shops. I think, I think you can even buy a tortoise if you want one. I've never eaten tortoise. Hello, son. You all right? Now, this is what we're after here. So, we can buy the utility tool and the different items that go with it. Or, there should be somewhere in here we can use Tinternet. There we go. Okay, so we've got weapons. So, we can buy different attachments for our weapony things. We can buy the actual weapon and missile launcher. Ooh. See, some of the weapons are cheap as chips. You start off with a pistol anyway. And I think you get a couple of bits, like a med pen and stuff like that. Uh, utility, med pen and oxy pen. But what we're going to do, we're going to buy our utility tool from here. And what you do, you stick on there and buy. That's only 500 UEC. That is cheap as chips. I already own these, so I'm not going to buy them. Then you will buy both attachments. Now, for some reason, it's not letting me buy them, but it's letting me buy that. I would presume it's because I already own them. But they are rough guide, probably about 200 each, I think. So, again, you do not need a lot of money. And then we go into our mulberry glass. Uh, here we go. Go in here, son. Uh, go utility. You can see there it's already on my belt. You would go utility item. Click on that. And multi-tool attachment, you want your mining attachment. And that's you. You are fully rigged out for personal mining now. You have just opened a whole new world of gameplay. You do not need a mining ship. You can go hand mining on any planet. It's hard. If you haven't got a mining ship or a scanning ship, it is hard. But there are places that we can go where you are guaranteed to find ores and minerals. And I will show you these places. I cannot remember for the life of me what pad my ship was on. It should tell me on here, I think. Ah, there we go. Levski, Hangar 3. Yeah, now, at the moment, if I wanted a little cheat, and I've got time, I could claim my ship now, and I'd get it back after, I think it's five minutes, with a full tank of gas. That's not going to be the case forever, but for now, if that's the way you want to play it, then that's the way you can play it. For a gameplay perspective, I think I'm going to go and fuel up. Yeah, we're there. And there's a truck stop there. So, we're going to head there. Again, if you press your map and go in, you can actually see the progress of your journey. So, you can plot your routes while you're cutting about. See, as you can see, required fuel. It tells you what your required fuel is how much fuel you've got I mean it was 200 odd to get back to Crusader so I did burn a lot of juice be very aware of that when you first start off otherwise you're going to find yourself putting out beacons to ask for help if you want to put a beacon you want to call another player you can create a beacon uh, beacon type, escort, personal transport there's your destination, the next bit. You can ask for a reputation level. I don't think that's actually in game yet. So if you want like a five star taxi, someone who's got a really good trust rating, then you can ask for that as criteria. It's yeah, it's fantastic. That's lovely that is. 
like I say, you've probably been playing, by the time you've got to this stage, you've played for a few hours now, and all you've done is some very, very basic delivery missions. See, because I'm in a different location, I've got a different set of delivery missions that will probably be quite local to, to this area. Investigation missions are great. Some of them are multi-stage, so you'll do the first bit and then they'll say, right, now you've done that, could you go and do this for this amount of money? Once you've done that, one, you, you grow a reputation as well. So if you want to specifically be a mercenary, you'll take on a job. And then after you've done that job and the mission chain that it requires, the head honcho of said mercenary group will go, could you meet me in the pub, please? I want to chat about more jobs. You get a reputation, you can get a wanted rate, uh, criminal record. Obviously, if you want to go the ways of combat, you don't have to do delivery missions. You could have went out and done bounties straight away. I might do it. I'm going to go mining and then I'll bung in a couple of bounties, I think. People say you cannot kill in an Aurora. You can. Combat is perfectly fine in an Aurora. Where the hell am I landing? I can't see. Nothing, son. Oh, there we go. Well, I'm not actually going to touch down here. That's this one. There we go. So I can refuel. Look how cheap it is. It's nothing. Refuel. Uh, do t do one at a time. Again, it's a little bit buggy. Sometimes it'll work if you click all four. Sometimes it won't. you got to remember this is early access still. Uh, what am I doing here? Confirm. They are. And we've still got landing clearance. So if you want to go in and have a look about. Go shopping. You'll get different armours from different places as well. Yeah. You want to play in third person? You play in third person. Still looks cool as chips. Again, if you've been, if you want to be a mercenary, if you want to be a baddie, this is Armistice Space. A lot of these places have got NPC turrets on them. So if you're going to go around shooting up other players, be aware that you are going to pay the price. And anywhere good that you come into to refuel and such like is going to shoot at you. There are NPC Navy ships, if you like, as well, that will attack you. Now, we're going mining. And there is a way of guaranteeing that you can find a place that has got a mine basically there are certain missions you can take on uh let's go investigation we haven't got a lot at the moment reported missing to a cave on daymar there we go now if i took on that mission not only could i complete that i'm, I'm gonna do it actually i'm gonna accept, accept that op offer now i know i'm gonna get four grand for completing the mission plus i'm gonna be able to mine whatever's there as well so, yeah, I'm taking that. So, that's a three quantum to get there. Requ I've got 582. It only requires 175. In the smaller ships, make sure you've got enough fuel before you go. As you can see, just to the right of my cross height, cross crosshairs, it says one out of two. That's jump one of two. So, it's going to take two jumps to get there. Oh, it's dark down here. It wasn't lights. T, that's it. Pretty, pretty weathery around there, isn't it? Right, there's Daymar Cave. There are certain missions where there will be NPCs cutting about as well, so you kind of have to watch what you're doing. Let's 
just gonna have a look, make sure I'm on properly. Yeah. Top tip, make sure all of your feet are on the ground, because if you park sideways, sometimes you can't back, can't get back in your ship. Now, we're in monitored space, so there shouldn't be any baddies unless they are proper crims. So if we press 1, we can get out our default pistol. If we press 4, we can get out our utility tool. We can right click to stat scan for minerals. Um, yeah. At the moment in the game, if you die with a weapon drawn, you will lose that weapon. So unless you need, unless you're going to use it, stow it. And you do that by holding down F, going on stow, and stowing a weapon. Right, that sat all locked up. And I'll see if I can show you the difference in the gravities now. Boing, boing. I can turn on my head torch if I desire, but the weather's rubbish, so you still can't see for toffee. That's all right, though. Right, we're here. Okay. Now, we've got to find this dude. Investigate missing client. Now, this is twofold mission for us. We can now get our tool out and actually scan. You kind of get a feeling of what they look like anyway. See, that's got like a little purpley bit in it. Little purple streak. That is... A deposit yeah and you can tell that because it will start scanning so I'm gonna have a little mine actually before I find this dude I'll go as close as I can Get that line in the green, keep it in the green, or you'll get blown up. go now before i do anything i'm going to stow my weapon just in case anyone sneaks up behind me now i can pick up those rocks and inspect them it's a lot easier if you actually turn your torch off hold down f i'm going to stow that you can ins inspect them to see if it's good or bad rock as it were go we've done our first little bit of personal mining you can do that all day long now if i hold down f go to my backpack you can see i'm six percent full of a hundred percent and i've got hadonite i can pick up numerous different types of resources you'll usually find all different types but there might be multiple types in the same cave now all this fog and that should clear up as we go further in Again, here's something here, different type of material. You can just pick these up. Let's turn the torch off. I'm going to stow it, yeah. Uh, let's inspect it. Yeah. You don't get a lot of money for them, but um, there's, there'll be different uses for different things as the game progresses. I presume some things will be for first aid or, or whatever, so you know. Right, let's go and find this dude. These caves are massive, by the way. Worth, gather, ga, uh, worth grabbing a couple of oxy pens as well. You could be spending a couple of hours in here. If you get geographically challenged like me anyway.
I've given up looking for oars entirely. All I'm worried about is getting back out. I, 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 I think I'm going to be living here forever. Yeah, obviously, if you're mining, you only need to come into the cave a little bit. But when you're looking for these missions, you've got to come all the way in. And it's very scary. Look at that. Who would sleep down here? Nutters. Oh, choices. An uppy bit and a downy bit. It's got to be down in it. Whoa. Um. Oh, there's an obvious all there. I'm having it. Seventeen percent out of hundred. Cool, you can half carry a lot. I believe if you carry a full backpack, you can earn about thirty grand out of one backpack of good minerals. And you're kind of getting an idea of how long it's taking me to get them. Not long at all. I could just I could probably fill my bag up if I just hovered around the entrance of this cave getting stuff. So getting money isn't a problem. How far is that? Not an issue. With the low gravity, the full distances don't really make that much odds. But when the gravity is normal, you, you're going to get hurt. He's there. I can see him. Hello, dude. Right, send a torch off first. F, search. Contract complete. There we go. Four grand. Hmm. Go me. can actually be very choosy with what you're picking up when you actually scan the rocks to mine them you can get different densities out it's, it's, a, it's a little look at this all right if a little scan go on son so there's the different percentages of what it is i don't know what those symbols actually mean though to be honest but i'm nicking it anyway Some rocks are so dense, you actually need multiple people to mine it as well. The same with the big mining. When when you when you finally buy a mining ship, you can multi-crew mine, and you might oh, you might need multiple multiple ships to actually mine those resources. One mining laser just won't be enough. You can actually upgrade your mi mining lasers as well. But again, you can buy all that in game. You don't have to spend real money for that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. You can earn 30,000 UEC from one bag of goodies. If you die, you're going to lose what's in your bag. It's that simple. I need to get up. Not a very nice day, is it? It's not always like this. Obviously, it's night time here as well. 
each planet or moon has a different day and night cycle, which is great. We're back. We made it. Hello, grasshopper. Hmm. I might take on a little bounty next. In fact, what I'm going to do, because I've got stuff in my bag, I'm going to go back and flog it. If you're not comfortable with landing, there is an auto land key as well. But I, I kind of think it's cheating in a little grasshopper. Landing complete. So there's no gravity here. This is artificial gravity on the pads. So I'm going to zoom off the end if I can. There we go, so there's full EVA. So you can whiz about as much as you want in space. You can board other people's ships. They can board yours. You can have space fighty pew pew first person combat of doom death. This is a dodgy pad to EVA onto. There we go, we're in. You could park your ship in space and go outside and use your utility. You I believe, I don't know if it's in game or not yet, but you can use your, or you will be able to use your welding tool to do small repairs or to break into ships. There are hacking tools in the game as well. So you might have to hack certain doors as part of a mission. That's all good fun, that is. Let's go and drop off our goodies. Now the stuff in our backpack, we can flog it there. Or can we flog it here? Uh, I'm not sure. Let's have a look at this screen. Trading console. Oh, I've got nothing on there. That is for, yeah. I won't bother you with that. That when you've got a mining ship, that's where you can sell your things and stuff. Trading and shipping. Uh, I am going to sell... I'm going to select a location, my personal inventory. And how much have I got? Oh, that's a licit cargo. <laughs> a plague. Okay, I'll sell my plague. Wow, I got two and a half grand for that little bit of Hadonite. That's not bad at all. Yeah, stick to the Hadonite peoples. There's probably even better materials than that, but there you go. Now, what was that first total? And what have we got now? We've got 56,000. Now, we've only been playing a little while. Yeah. Well, we flogged that. Now, I can take on some other missions. I'm going to jump back in to the little Pew Pew. And we'll go and do some of the Pew Pew. Where is my ship? It's over there. Um... Don't really matter where we go out, I suppose. Uh, I'm going to go... Yeah, I'm going to see if we've got any bounty hunter things going on. There's four of them. Get a grand for that. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Qualified individuals. We have evaluated that you possess the skill set needed. We would like to... Uh, an initial trial bounty. See what I mean? You'll start off with a 1,000 UEC mission here. Uh, what's that? That's two grand. That's two grand. Yeah, they'll be cheap as chips initially. And then the more you do the more missions you'll be offered and they'll be worth more. But saying that, the pilots will be better. Let's go and find this hippie and do some of the pew pew. Now it goes without saying you're in a starter ship, so you're gonna find combat a lot harder. You haven't got big pew pew, you've only got little pew pew. So even if you die killing this dude, you can claim your ship, come back out, and have another go. There's also a game within Star Citizen called Arena Commander, and it's like a simulation within the game, where if you've got an Aurora, you can take your Aurora and practice wave combat, so you will just get wave after wave of enemies. Yes, you will die lots, but you don't have to claim your ship, you don't lose your ship, it's... It's a practice arena within space. There's also Star Marine, which is a first-person combat game within Star Citizen, where you will play against other players. 
or NPC private matches, matches with your friends or whatever. Right, he's around here somewhere because he's gone. He'll come up on my scanner in a minute. There he is. So I'm going to lock him on. He's 8,000 metres away. Now I'm going to press R for my gimbals. I probably won't be able to shoot till I'm within about a thousand of him. That's a big ship for me to be fighting. There's our first pew pew, and we've just earned ourselves a thousand bucks. So those who say you can't engage in combat in an Aurora are they need to wobble bear in. Now I could just take another one from here, and it'll only be round the corner probably. But again, they'll probably get progressively harder. Let's have a look, man. There, there you go. Two and a half grand, and I've got 28 and a half minutes to do that. But what I'm going to do now, I think, is to finish up, I'm going to do a bit of trading. And I might nip to Yala, because it's only, ooh, even Grim X maybe. Yeah, we'll see. We'll have a look. We'll have a look what's close. Um, I'm not sure, actually, because what you can do is you can go on to internet or even ask the other players in the chat, press F12 and just ask the players what's selling good, what's buying good. So you could in essence go down, land on Yala. There are numerous places that you can actually land on Yala. Um, buy up some goods, buy up some cargo, then take it down. I'm gonna go there. And then take it back to wherever and sell it. Some of the places will have pads, some of them won't. As long as you park close, they'll still load your ship up for you. The little magical load of dudes. Where's the door? There he is. Let's go over by the door. Collision alert. Starboard. Collision alert. Front. That'll do us. That'll do us. Complete. I'm going to leave her running. Oh, it's a bit weathery, isn't it? At least it's daytime for a change though, eh? Don't think we've had daytime. Right. Boing. Boing. Wait. I don't even know if we can purchase things in here. Here it is. Right, trading and shipping. See, I have got three SCU of cargo. I could sell my cargo here or I could buy it. I'm going to click buy. Aurora. Um, what are we going to sell? Uh, what are we going to buy, sorry? I've got, I've only got a limited amount of money. I don't know what I can sell on...
destination full. Right, so that was 270 UEC to fill my Aurora up. I might be selling at a loss at Polis uh, Port Olisar, or I might be selling at a gain. We'll see. Yeah, got it. 270. Gotta remember that. Obviously, I am being silly here. I should check. Wrong way. In fact... Let's go, let's go and have a quick look out the window. Where's my ship? There it is. Look, there it is. I'd say, yeah, if you did your research and you knew what you were buying and what you were selling, where you were buying it from and where you were selling it from, there's actually phone apps and websites you can have a look what is trading where. You can make vast sums of money very quickly. Very, very quickly. You could, you could be upgrading to a much bigger ship within probably four or five hours of gameplay. Selected. Take off complete. Landing gear raised. Radar contact. Uh, someone with a criminal record there, look. Freelancer. If you try and kill green triangles, they're good players. You're going to get a crime rating. You kill those red dudes then you're all good. You won't get a crime rating for killing them. A lot of people with crime ratings have just done something silly, like bump into another ship. It doesn't necessarily mean they're the enemy. Okay, what was it? 270 UEC we spent on that. We might be at a loss. I don't know. I just don't know. Right, let's have a look. We might have done something silly here. Let's go sell. Um, what's got stuff on it? There we go, that one. Ooh. Click on that. Oh, we made a little bit of money. It was 270, we're making 330, and that was just a lucky guess. You can make a massive amount more profit than that. That was just me falling about for the purpose of example, as you well saw. Way go us. There we go, 57,563 now. <clears throat> now I could buy stuff here. I could load my ship up here and take it somewhere else. So you don't even have to go back there to pick up stuff first. You could literally come in here and sort of buy, select a location. We'll go back to our Aurora MR. And I can buy agricultural supplies, medical supply. Look at that, man. Now you're talking the bigger monies there. 17 new EC. How long am I? Ooh, look. 1,547 to fill that up. I'm not going to do that. Waste is waste. Yeah. So there is a lot of money to be made in trading. Now, there are a plethora. I have covered day one basic, very, very basic gameplay there. There are missions upon missions. There are multiplayer missions, section attacks. There are, there are missions that you can only undertake with numerous players. Going and invading bases and things like that. There is so much to do in this game now. Is it worth getting it right now? Hell yeah. If you still think this game is a scam, you need to wobble your head. I think there is enough gameplay in this game already to justify its price. Is it buggy as anything? It is buggy as anything. Some days it will be brilliant. Some days it will just crash every five minutes. It's early access. It is what it is. As you, I haven't crashed once. The entirety of this gameplay has been done in one sitting. In a, yeah, what is yeah, a couple of hours. I've been playing a couple of hours. I've earned a few bob. I can, I have shown you nothing so far. Nothing. There, 
there are there are places many many moons away from here you go to hurston and you can you can go shopping for spaceships if you want i mean big big spaceships there are different minerals different ores on different planets and different moons there are different missions in all of those different areas there is a ton of content in star citizen and it is getting more and more with every update it, needless to say it is a beautifully stunning stunning game yes it is buggy it is buggy as hell some days some days it runs like an absolute dream i haven't got a beast of a machine um i'll probably stick, stick my specs in the comment section in the description so you can see is it worth it yeah it is i've done all of this today in a starter ship i have earned good money in a starter ship just messing about there is no need to spend real money on this game apart from buying that starter ship people i hope you enjoyed that i hope it made everything a bit clearer what is available in star citizen you have probably seen two percent of the content available in star citizen with my gameplay today anyway i hope any questions just leave a comment and i'll get back to you hope you enjoyed it if you did give us a like and a subscribe and i will see you all very soon peeps later